Hi everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a how I use my iPad as an engineering student. If you guys are new here, hi, I'm Ashley. I'm a senior chemical engineering student at Texas A&M. I have the 10.2 inch 7th generation iPad. It's on an iPad Air. It's on an iPad Pro. This is probably the cheapest iPad that you can possibly get. I only use the iPad for school and YouTube and I have the 128 gigabyte one. And honestly, you don't even need the 128 gigabyte one because I've had this for like two years now. I don't delete anything at all. Everything I've downloaded, everything I've written, everything I have has been under 50 gigabytes between my schoolwork and like YouTube stuff. If you're only using it for school, you can get away with 64 gigabytes easily, but I just wanted 128 gigabytes just in case. I didn't want to get the iPad Pro because honestly, I have a computer. If I wanted to type, if I want to do anything, literally my computer and my iPad are always with me when I'm doing schoolwork. They work hand in hand. I just have a case from Amazon. It was probably like 10 bucks, nothing too expensive. The screen protector I have is a paper-like screen protector also from Amazon. I recently just changed to the paper like screen protector. Before I was using a regular one and a lot of YouTube videos I watch say that the paper like one is a lot better. I was okay with just like a normal screen protector. I just really wanted to try out the paper like which is why I switched. I've been really liking it. It's been a weird feeling to adjust just because I was so used to like the other screen protector. The pen that I use is just the first generation pencil. That's everything about my iPad. If you're in between like what you want to get, let's just do a little price comparison. And this was 128 gigabytes. I don't think the new model makes 128 gigabytes. I believe they only make 64 or 256. You're fine with 64. And the prices range from 329 for the 64 gigabytes to 489 for the 256 gigabytes. So it's around three to 500. So with 128, this is probably around like $400 if you were to go like split in the middle between 64 and 256. So $400 and the pen itself, currently on Amazon it was $84. My sister has the iPad Pro, she just got it and she has the 11 inch one. And she also uses the second generation pencil which is about 130. Even the pen is more expensive and she also has the 128 gigabyte iPad. Her iPad is about $800 with the pen is like $130. Her iPad's a bit bigger, it's a little bit more stronger, but all I'm doing is writing in GoodNotes and like looking at textbooks. Is it worth the price difference? The total of my iPad and pen is $485. That's about $500 for like a complete set. Whereas my sister with her iPad and pen is about $930. So $500 is still expensive, don't get me wrong, but it's significantly cheaper and a more affordable option than the iPad Pro for $930 and do I like her writing better like I definitely like the way the pen writes the pen is more efficient just because like the pen like charges like on the iPad you can like double tap to like erase like I have to take the extra step to like oh if I want to erase something I gotta tap then erase then tap again to the pen but it's a little bit annoying and I do like the writing style better on her iPad but is it worth like the extra $500 because the difference between this and the iPad Pro is a little over 50% difference so honestly, I would just go with this option. It's a cheaper option, more affordable, and you don't even have to get the pen because my friend, she doesn't use the Apple pen. She uses like another off-brand pen from Amazon for like $20, $30, and it works just fine. So honestly, you can definitely go a more affordable route with the iPad and it still do the job. You don't need an expensive iPad. Is it nice to have an iPad Pro, iPad Air? Yeah, but this will do the job. The only app that I use is GoodNotes. I know some people like to use Notability. I think it's like $10. It's a one-time payment. You can also get OneNote for free. I personally just don't like having OneNote. I have it on my iPad because I use it as a scratch sheet of paper. So I have OneNote. I have GoodNotes. Mainly use GoodNotes. I also have Google Drive on here. I have Canvas on here. And that's about everything I have for school. Oh, I also have Google Doc, but I don't really open it. I just have it on there. So how I take notes in my classes really depends on how the class is ran and how the professor presents itself. So when I open GoodNotes, as you can see, I have a lot of folders open. Currently, I have like my current classes that I'm taking, and then I also have like past folders. Let's do fall of 2021. So for my math class, as you can tell, I have the textbook over here. I personally like having the textbook in GoodNotes, and it's really easy to upload instead of on the book app on the iPad. I tried that didn't really like it and it's easy on here because I can easily like just 
highlight and I can easily write. For the textbook, I normally use the smallest pen and the smallest highlighter. And what I like about GoodNotes is that a lot of my textbooks, there's a lot of equations. So like you see, there's a lot of equations here. And so when I do homework, I can easily go into the lasso tool and I can just take a screenshot of it, copy. I can just go to wherever I'm doing the work, paste it over, and I really, really like doing that. As you can tell, I download all my professor's PDF. And so, for example, let's open one. And obviously my professor is like reading off slides because I have these lecture notes. But I can like once again just copy, take a screenshot, and put it in the homework. I know exactly what equation I'm using for what. And for these, because they are lecture slides, as you can tell, if I use the smallest one, it's a little bit smaller. So I like to use like the medium. And I was to math, it's a lot easier to see what I'm doing compared to if it was a smaller one. And for highlighting, I also will also use the medium one. That's like one class if my class was to upload PowerPoints. And as you can tell, I also, like based on the documents I have, I will import like practice exams and redo them. And then like my exam notes, like for example, like this was like one exam page that I did. As you can tell here, I was able to screenshot, copy over the examples from the textbook and be able to write because I personally like being able to see what I'm writing on, highlighting what I'm doing and able to write everything and I can also like easily like minimize and maximize everything onto a sheet of paper without wasting too many spaces. So that's just like how I would practice old exams and so this was like one of my cheat sheets be able to like minimize, maximize, color code really easily. So then for like my PCAM class, as you can tell, I also have like some clickers that I import. How I take notes when I review for exams, I will normally, like this is for how I did for PCAM, every single time I will always split my screen in half as you can tell and then so I can do like two sheets because honestly I don't write big enough for it to take up a whole sheet of paper and I can just see everything all at once. And then I'll just write all my notes down. You could just see everything. I highlight all my equations in this orange color so I know exactly like what I'm doing. Also, what I like about GoodNotes is that even if you do handwriting, you can easily search the words. Like, say, I'm looking for statistical mechanics. Even though it's my handwritten and I didn't type it out because there's an option to type if I wanted to type, I can easily search up here. I can just put statistical mechanics, and as you can tell over here, it found my handwriting. I love the software. It could read handwriting. You can literally search your handwriting, which is phenomenal. I'll just screenshot a lot and input a lot of my equations over here. That's also how I do practice problems. I also split the page in half and just do practice problems like that. And I always have like a homework folder. I love that good notes. I can just organize everything in folders. For my kinetic class, we had lecture slides, but my professor didn't teach off the lecture slides. So we did notes in class. And how I took notes in class in there was literally split in half again. And I just wrote and it's just very convenient. I just highlight like the day that we're doing it. And I use text up here if I need to like make note of anything. So super duper convenient. I love it. And I can even like upload images over here. If I wanted to write on an image, super easy. I can just airdrop stuff over. What I also like about GoodNotes is that I can get the GoodNotes app on my computer and my phone. So honestly, everything syncs up. And like when I'm walking to class and I want to do last minute studying, I can look at my phone. You can also split screen if you wanted to. So if I bring this over here, just drag GoodNotes over so I can see them two at a time. Super convenient, I do it all the time. I can have the textbook on one side and then write my notes on the other side. That's basically how I take notes on the iPad. I really like it. I use it for majority of my classes, as you can tell. My style of taking notes isn't very different. I do my homework on there. It's very easy for me to import it to my computer or upload it directly onto Canvas. I like it. Let me know if you guys like, have any other tips of how you can use the iPad. Um, it's just how I use it. When you think of an engineering student, you probably don't think that we're taking notes all day or you probably think that we're just like on our computers 
doing stuff. But no, I really use my iPad for almost every class. Um, as you, you saw how many folders I had for all my classes. I love it. I do my homework on it. I highly recommend getting it. I recommend just getting the iPad. It does the job, does the trick. You don't need a powerful iPad when you have a computer. If you don't have a computer, maybe you might want to invest in an iPad Pro, but because I do have a computer that works just fine and I don't mind carrying both things at once, it's not that big of a deal. That's everything. That's how I take notes on GoodNotes, how I take notes on my iPad and utilize it for my education. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what else you guys want to see and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.